guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make some goop slash slime. And I am outside right now, and I'm really out of breath because my cat got out and I had to change. So I did make some green slime before, but it got kind of wrecked. So I'm going to do another video on it. Alright, so you're going to need some cornstarch and this is just like Argo. You can get this at your grocery store and it just looks like that. And then you'll need some water. Um, I just have this and you don't need one cup. You just need like however much you want. I'm just doing kind of die tie. And then you'll need some food coloring any kind of color you want your slime to be that is actually optional and just some bowls and spoons so let's get started okay so start by taking one spoon of the cornstarch and putting it in then take another spoon full of water maybe another one and then just mix it and I'm just gonna add another spoonful of cornstarch And this does get kind of messy, so that is why I'm outside doing it. And it's actually supposed to be kind of hard to stir because it's a solid and a liquid at the same time. just want to keep adding more and I'm going to add a little bit more water too. The more cornstarch you use, the more water you want to use. And sorry for the background noise, it's, I live on a busy street. Okay, so once you like the feel of how it feels to you, um, you can pick your color. I'm using a blue today. It's like really hard to see because I'm outside, but oh well, it's messy. So you can just put one drop in. That was kind of a big drop. <laughs> And then just mix it. Okay, I just zoomed in a little bit so you could see it better. And you want to make sure you mix it really good. So this is like a nice craft you can do with kids or if you're bored in the summertime. It's really fun and entertaining and it's kind of like a science experiment. Because it's a solid and a liquid at the same time and I will show you that in a minute.
the science experiment. Just let me get this off first. You can just add water and it'll come right off. And that's okay if you get like dye on your fingers. It should come off because it's just food coloring. So I'm just gonna mix it real quick. And I'm just gonna move everything out of the way so I can show you. All right. Now for the fun part where we get to play with it. I'm just gonna take my spoon. Now what you do, okay, so it looks like it's a liquid, as you can see, and then when you punch it, it's like a solid. Here, I'll show you. Like when you squeeze it, it's a solid, sorry, I don't have much goop where you can, sh where I could show, but if you try this out, You'll know what I'm talking about. But if you want to know how to get this off your hands, you can just peel it right off and it should come off. So yeah, it's really fun to play with. And I also wanted to tell you guys that, um, so that your goop doesn't get bad, make sure you store it in a bag when you're not using it so that it doesn't get like, all wrecked like how mine got when it got dirt in it so just make sure you keep it in the bag okay so that is how you make goop and i think i'm gonna go inside right now because i'm so hot but yeah that was like really messy and i ended up getting it all over my camera so yeah i hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you want me to do more videos like this because I really enjoy doing them. Just comment down below anything you want me to do. Yeah, I hope you have a good day.